Well, hello, and welcome to my barn dominium. We're here in the breezeway today. It's a beautiful afternoon. I'm artist, equestrian Lainey Frick, and I'm so pleased and proud to be a part of the Mary Beth Shaw Stencil Girl product line. I have uh, drawn some horse images, and she's turning them into some really cool stencils. And I want to show you a little project that I did, and um, we'll see how you like it. So this is the finished product, and all I used was a Payne's gray background and metallic gold paint and two of the stencils. And these are the stencils designs that I used. And I started with this one, and I've started here, and I, oh, and I want to show you the difference between Payne's gray and black. You could use black gesso if you wanted, and I have this card here that has the black gesso, but I think you can see with the Payne's Gray, it's, it makes a much prettier moonlight type background, and that's what I was kind of going for. So um, this is a Payne's Gray, just put on real thin, kind of streaky, and I've already put this horse image up there with the gold, because I wanted him to give the, look like he's behind the other horse running. So now we'll put this horse up there, and I haven't let this totally dry. You might want to do that at home, but um, I wanted to really get into showing you how this is going to look. So I'm just going to tape that up, and then I've got my metallic gold, and I'm just going to use the lid So around the face area, I'm going to make it the strongest. I'm just going to dab that on. And because it's moonlight, you don't really see everything. So I'm, I'm even going to just go with partial areas. I'm not going to use the whole want to give that ethereal, misty, they're running kind of look. Just enough information so that the viewer says, oh, look at that cool horse running. And we can put this in. Do this. want to get that leg in there. Part of it, not all of it. In the moonlight, and the, you know, these horses, these guys are running fast. So to get kind of that look, I'm just going to brush away from the stencil instead of tapping it. Okay, so I think that's going to look pretty good. So while this is wet, you can go ahead and, and smooth out some areas, make it look a little more flowy, leaving this part pretty solid. You've got to have a, an area that looks uh, that looks like it's where you can focus on, so it gives the viewer something to see. There we've got our wild, misty look. And you just soften those edges, and you can see how your eye wants, is drawn to here and not so much over here. And then for the splatter part, splattering's always fun, always cool. You want to get a, just a, you could use a toothbrush. Um, I've got this kind of cheap, bristly brush. Anything that flicks really good. And now you're going to want to wet your paint a little bit. You want it to kind of want to fly off your brush, fly off the handle. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. Just kind of give it a little mist and then flick some paint on there. If you had a bigger one, you could get but they kind of look like stars in the distance. And if you 
soften them a little bit. Go back over it and kind of, we don't want so many stars everywhere. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can use the stencil and create this cool little moonlight, horses running in the moonlight look. So have fun trying it.